Kia ora from New Zealand everyone. I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I thought I'd share with you all the various jigsaw puzzles that made it into my luggage and came home with me from the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in Spain. I have more than just competition puzzles, although most of them are competition puzzles, but I do have some others. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little mini shopping haul today. Now I've already done a vlog style video about the competition, as well as two recap videos covering the individuals, the pairs and the teams. I'll leave links to all those videos in the description below. Go check them out, especially watch <laughs> Jeanette's vlog style video that we did together, the bloopers at the end. I mean, oh goodness, I think by that time we were so tired and so jet lagged, it like we couldn't keep a straight face. So I hope you watch those and enjoy them. Now I'm gonna start with two jigsaw puzzles that Vicky brought. So basically in preparation for the competition, I said to everyone, if you have access to new 2023 jigsaw puzzles, can you please bring them along? And Vicky was the only one that really had access to the newer puzzles. And she managed to bring three along that appeared in the individual round as well as a pair round. And I also asked, I said, if anyone has access to circle puzzles from Ravensburger, please bring those along as well. And once again, Vicky was the only one that had access to those and she brought two. I managed to bring home two, the two that she brought for us to practice. Now, these circle of colors jigsaw puzzles are amazing. They come in a square box and on the box, it does look like there's the outline, like the solution key for the jigsaw puzzle, but I haven't actually like confirmed whether or not it is accurate, but inside, there is a huge poster. Now, I'm not even sure if I will be able to get this all in frame. Look at the size of this poster that comes with the jigsaw puzzle. Crazy. So she brought this one. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure what the actual name of it is. I just call it the donuts circle puzzle. So she brought this one for us to all practice and I brought it home with me. And then she also brought with her this one. And I believe this one's called is it just called Ocean? Oceans? And this one appeared during the semifinal round of the individuals. So Vicky ended up bringing with her four jigsaw puzzles that made an appearance throughout the competition. Amazing. I was so pleased that she was able to bring so many puzzles for us to practice on. And it just goes to show that some countries have more availability to jigsaw puzzles than others. So thank you so much to Vicky for allowing me to bring these home. Funny story is my semi-final circle puzzle was the poke bowl and I could not remember for the life of me what happened to it. I know it's not amongst my puzzles, so I was worried that maybe I forgot it at the competition. I didn't think that I just gave it away to some random person, but I just watched Vicky's recap video or well, it wasn't so much a recap video, but it was her like puzzle haul video from the competition. And she has it, I gave it to her. So I'm so pleased that she has it. Oh my goodness, I was just afraid that I forgot it somewhere. So at least it made it home to, with someone and I'm very happy that it did. And I'm sure she'll probably try to speed run it and see how she does on it. She did really, really well at the competition. They all did. Juby, Vicky, Jeanette just blew me away. As a team, we were so well, you know, puzzling together. Um, let me just give us all a little shout out again. World Pieces, we came in 39th out of 159 teams. And I'm, I'm really proud of that effort. So on top of the two puzzles that I got from Vicky, the two circle puzzles, thank you so much again for those. I have a whole bunch of the competition jigsaw puzzles that I brought home. So they're all in these various resealable bags right here because I dumped the bottom of the boxes and I flattened the top of the boxes just to make it easier for packing. Next year, closer to the time, I'll probably do like a tips for, for worlds like on how to pack. And I'm gonna put like a smaller suitcase in a bigger suitcase. And I'm gonna pay for a second suitcase to come home because uh, like the availability of jigsaw puzzles, yeah, we do get quite a few in New Zealand, but not all the newer ones. And I would have loved to have brought home all the jigsaw puzzles that appeared at the competition. So next year, that's my plan. 
pay for an extra luggage, bring home all the puzzles that I can, just have one suitcase full of puzzles and very little of anything else. So the jigsaw puzzles that made at home with me are my individual round, um, preliminary round jigsaw puzzle, the Lupins. I am challenging myself. I'm putting this right out on video right here, right now. I'm going to speed run this puzzle until I get it within the 90 minutes. I'm going to do it. I don't care if it takes me all year, but that's a challenge I'm setting for myself. I'll keep you updated. I will record the time lapse. If you want, put your guesses below. How? many runs will it take me to finish this in under, under 90 minutes? I think it's going to take me at least 10 runs, at least. Um, but yeah, that's my goal to try to complete this in under 90 minutes. So the Lupins, my individual preliminary round jigsaw puzzle did make it home with me. I also brought home the jigsaw puzzle that Jeanette got during her individual preliminary round. And I'm sorry, I always, this, this is a tongue twister for me the archaeologist's desk. <laughs> it's an Amy Stewart. By the way, the Lupins, that's a photograph by Stefan Hefele. But I believe everyone was so excited to see that we had an Amy Stewart jigsaw puzzle at the competition. I can't wait to do this one. I think this is, will be a lot of fun. My style of jigsaw puzzle. I will speed run it and time myself. But this was Jeanette's jigsaw puzzle during her individual round and she did amazing. This was Vicky's preliminary round jigsaw puzzle. And it's called, what's it called? Springtime in Paris. And it just says Getty Images. I believe this is her actual copy. She gave it to me. The one for Jeanette, I believe I bought. So what was really nice is that you could buy the jigsaw puzzles once the competition started for that puzzle. I think it was five euros for a 500 piece and 10 euros for a thousand piece. For me, that's a steal. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, I need more room in my suitcase. I don't know how much you all pay for jigsaw puzzles in Europe, but I think that was a great price. So there was plenty of availability for people to buy the jigsaw puzzles. So I did buy some and we traded others. But this was Vicky's jigsaw puzzle. She smashed it out. Jeanette and I already did this once in Madrid, just one evening. We really enjoyed it, but I do plan on redoing it and speed running it and timing myself. And I had to bring home the jigsaw puzzle that was during the finals round for the individuals. This was fun. I really like this image. This is my style of jigsaw puzzle. Although a photograph, there was no blurriness, there was no fur, not too many flowers, and there was a lot going on. I, and I'm sorry, I keep trying to pronounce this Marzameni, Marzamemi, Marzamemi, not me, Marzamemi Sicily. And it just says that it's a stock Adobe photograph. I will definitely redo this one. As well, I know I'm gonna lend all these 500 pieces to Allison to speed run. This was my fastest time individually of the competition. I believe I was around the one hour 25 mark. I'm hoping that I can improve on this time. So that's another little challenge I'll set to myself. I'd like to try to get this closer to the hour 15 minute mark. This jigsaw puzzle, 500 pieces, was for the first group of the pairs preliminary round. This one is called Student Days and it's by Robert Howe really like his illustrations. This is a fun jigsaw puzzle. Jeanette, Carolina from uh, Ukraine and I, we sat down one evening in Madrid and we did this just for fun and we had, we had a good time just chatting, puzzling together. But I will try to speed run this as a pairs with Allison to see how we do. Um, it'll be interesting because it's very busy and quite different from anything her and I have done together. But again, I'll do a time lapse and I'll keep you posted on our times. But I'm glad that I brought this one home. I must have bought this one because no one from our little group of friends that went together was in group A. But yeah, really, really just a fun, nice illustration. This was the pair's preliminary round that Jeanette and I were in. And this was the actual puzzle that we completed. Um, Jeanette did not want to see this jigsaw puzzle again, so I brought it home. I loved it. It's called Ludicrous Library and it's by Colin Thompson. I will definitely redo this with Allison. I'll wait like a month or two or so closer to Australian Nationals because I'll need to practice again for that. And um, I think this is lots of fun. I was so proud of Jeanette and I. Our time was what? An hour and five minutes. I think that was really, really good. 
The only comment I think we had was maybe we should have sorted by piece shape a bit earlier. But yeah, I thought we did very well for our first like official pairs competition together. But I will redo this with Allison as well. Just lots of fun, crazy busy, so many books with legs. What was upside down? What was right side up? Who knows? It, it was busy, but it was lots of fun to do. I had to bring home the pair's final jigsaw puzzle, 1,000 pieces. It's called Boston. Actually, is it called just Boston or is it Boston 2189, as if that represents the year? It's by the Metropolitan Pop Artist Jack Otanio. Hopefully I'm pronouncing their name correctly. Oh wow, this, watch the recap video. I'm not gonna say much more about this jigsaw puzzle except for wow. Now, Allison has set us a challenge. She is convinced that her and I can complete this in under the two hours. So for the pairs final, you had two hours to complete this 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I don't think it's possible. And if it is, it's just because of her and she's a puzzling machine and maybe because of the conditions and I'll be, feel more relaxed. But I did bring this home. We will try to speed run it together. She's optimistic we can do it in other the two hours, but only nine pairs at the competition were able to finish it. So I don't know. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. I'll do a time lapse and I'll let you know how we get on with it. The last jigsaw puzzle that I brought home from the competition was this 1000 piece. It was one of the four that we had the option to do during the team's preliminary. This one is called West Coast Tranquility and it just says it's from Graham Herbert artist. Yeah, we should have chosen to do this during the team's preliminary as opposed to the one we chose to do. Let's not speak of that one ever again. None of us brought that as they nicknamed it in the chat, Orange Hell. I just wanna say, I think it's a lovely puzzle to do leisurely, but not the speed puzzle. And um, I think we left that, we traded that, we gave that away, we did not bring it home. I am going to use this puzzle for team practice with Alison Valme and Wendy because we're competing as a team at the New Zealand Masters Games in February 2024. And I think this would be a good team's practice for us all to do together. We have, obviously Alison and I have puzzled a lot together. Wendy has joined us once or twice, not many, but we've not puzzled as a team. So this will be one of the first ones that we do together. That'll be very interesting to see how we work all together. I'm excited to try. And we just wanna have lots of fun because Wendy and Valme are not so much speed puzzlers. Although Valme is like, lend me puzzles, Donna Louise. I wanna practice. And yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. I think she's gotten a little bug for the speed puzzling. Also for the Masters games, the individual is a thousand piece which I will admit is a lot. I'm hoping maybe next year they'll lower it to a 500 piece because a thousand piece, oh, it's hard on the back and on the bones and the eyes, but it'll be lots of fun to do this puzzle together as a team. And I'll keep you posted on how we get on with it. Yeah, it's just, I should have done it because it's a Canadian puzzle and <laughs> I regret not choosing it during our team preliminary round. I believe for the two team final puzzles, the Gauguin, we gave that one away. And the puzzle people, jigsaw puzzle, one of us took it home, maybe Juby, Vicky. I can't remember who brought that home now. That was a fun jigsaw puzzle. Those puzzles will all be available soon for sale. I keep saying they're from the 2024 unreleased catalog, but technically the date on them is 2023. They had just not been released yet. They've been hold back for the competition, but they will be available for sale soon. And I think a lot of people will enjoy that. Puzzle People. Yeah, Puzzle People Jigsaw Puzzle by Marie Boisseau. Lovely, lots of fun. All the jigsaw puzzles, the 500 pieces, came in these cute little Ravensburger like bags that you can wear above around your shoulders. I think I ended up with a dozen of them or more. The bigger jigsaw puzzles came in a bigger bag and I gave those to Jeanette because she had so much packing she needed to do. So she used those, but I brought quite a few of these home and yeah, they'll come in handy, especially since I have so many jigsaw puzzles without the boxes. I think I'm gonna store them in these Robin's Burger bags. So now let's talk about the jigsaw puzzles, which were not part of the competition, but I brought home with me. And this one right here, this one will be deserving of its own video. It's Pintu. And you know how much I love Pintu brand jigsaw puzzles. This is a very special jigsaw puzzle. And I don't wanna to reveal too much, but it forms a cover for a notebook. 
That's all I'm going to say. And it was made for the Spanish Puzzle Association. So I'm very honored to have gotten this jigsaw puzzle to bring it home, and I will definitely feature it in a video. Now, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't get this past customs because New Zealand customs is very strict. And this is a wooden, I believe it's, it's wood. It feels like a wood puzzle. It's a wooden puzzle from Spain. The brand is La Munda. Oh my goodness, the whimsy pieces all related to owls. The name of this particular puzzle is just called Owl, and I believe the artist is, I'm sorry, I'm gonna mispronounce it, Merche Albio Vega. Hopefully I said that correctly. I will definitely, definitely do a full video just on this jigsaw puzzle. And the box, I'm glad it made it home, but part of it ripped at the bottom. But look, they have their little symbol, logo, stamped into the box. So nice. And if you open it up, I'll be careful here. Yeah, see, mine ripped. But look how cute it's packaged. It's got like, what is that? It's almost like hay and comes in a cute bag. And it's got a little wooden token. Oh, I can't wait to crack this open. Beautiful. But I was so worried that customs would take it away from me because it's wood but it's treated wood so yeah just remember if ever you come to new zealand check out the rules and guidelines because they are a bit strict as to what you can bring in the country but i was able to bring this in and i'm so excited i can't wait to build this beautiful jigsaw puzzle if you saw jeanette's vlog style video you'll see that we went to the store that everybody goes to when in madrid don juego i have their little um business card here because I thought the name of the store was longer than just Don Juego, but that's all that it says on the business card, but it says Puzzles y Juegos de Mesa. Yeah, so much fun. How cute is that? It's in the shape of a puzzle piece. So we went to the store and I said, I'm allowed to buy one more jigsaw puzzle because at this point I was worried I was going to be over my limit for weight. I said, I can get one more and it has to be a brand. I cannot get in New Zealand. Well, they had Enjoy. And I was like, I have to come home with one. I did flatten this box, but I've taped it back together. And I did save the bottom of this box because it's so colorful and beautiful. And I was like, which one should I choose to do? And I decided to get this beautiful, colorful tree one. It's called Each Tree Has Its Own Colorful History. Oh my goodness, I love that even more. And it's by Olha Dachuk. I'm sorry, I know I've mispronounced that. I had to buy it. So this I bought at Don Juego. The lady working there said there were so many people coming to the store that had been at the competition. Definitely amazing store to visit. Watch Jeanette's vlog video. She shows all the jigsaw puzzles they have on display on the ceiling. So many options, books and books of options. And so I came home finally with an enjoy jigsaw puzzle. I'm very excited to do a full video on this jigsaw puzzle soon. I have to say thank you to Alfonso. He gifted us this jigsaw puzzle, 2,000 pieces, Ravensburger Panorama. It's the Guinness World Record jigsaw puzzle. It's the one that they used at the competition. Eight puzzlers, amazing puzzlers from around the world came together to create a new world Guinness record. And the person that was there from the Guinness World Record said that if they can complete it in under two hours, he would give them a record for it. And what did they do it? What, I'll have to put up the time on the screen. Was it an hour 24, an hour 27? I believe it was under an hour and a half. They finished this very busy, long panorama jigsaw puzzle. And I believe it like represents all kind of the different Guinness World Records that they currently have or at least it says from 2020 to 2022. And perhaps it's new records that were set during that time. The artist is Rod Hunt. I can't wait to build this jigsaw puzzle. It will probably be over multiple videos, maybe two. And look, the voiceover, I can talk about all the different things represented in the jigsaw puzzle. So busy, I wouldn't even know how you would sort. I think I should just do a build, just, just build the puzzle as I go. I'm so honored to have this jigsaw puzzle and bring it home with me. It is available for sale. And actually I found it and I put, added it to my Amazon storefronts. Again, all these jigsaw puzzles I've added to my storefronts. I have a .com and a .co.uk. So if you're interested in buying any, the price is the same for you if you shop from Amazon anyway. Full disclosure, I get a little commission that I put back into the channel to buy more jigsaw puzzles and equipment to make these videos. 
Thank you so much. A lot of you buy through the storefronts and I really, really appreciate it. But this is gonna be a fun video to do. I'm so excited. And yeah, it is readily available, I believe in some countries at least, for purchase. The last jigsaw puzzle that I brought home with me from Spain is this 1000 piece Robin's Burger called Anniversary Puzzle. Now this is a very special jigsaw puzzle. Another gift from Alfonso. Jeanette, Vicky and I all brought it home. Unfortunately, Juby didn't have any room in her luggage. Um, this was only made, I believe, 1000 copies. And I don't think it was ever readily for sale. And so thank you so much for gifting this to us. Jeanette, Vicky, and I have something very special planned for this jigsaw puzzle. It will be speed puzzling related. And if you look close to the image, it's a mosaic of images of jigsaw puzzles from Ravensburger. And it says Ravensburger puzzle since 1891. I didn't realize the company had been around for that long. But how special is this? The anniversary puzzle from Ravensburger. Thank you so much, Alfonso. We, we really appreciate it. I did not break down the box. I tried to protect it in my luggage. The Guinness World Record puzzle just has a, just has a little dent in the corner, but this one made it in pristine condition and I'm so very pleased and I can't wait to do this jigsaw puzzle. On top of all the jigsaw puzzles and the Ravensburger bags, I also brought home the Ravensburger hat. Little hat here, that's so cute. Brought that home as well. Put that right there. I brought home one of the AEPUZ magazines with Alejandro on the cover. This summarizes a lot that happened last year. So I brought that home as well. And I got the blue World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship t-shirt. Well, if you get a blue one, you need to get my favorite color, a purple one. <laughs> so I brought that home as well. I brought home one for my husband, what color did he get? Perhaps it was gray. And I also, well, had to look a little bit more professional. So I had to bring home the polo style one as well that has the World Jigsaw Puts Little Championships in the corner. So I brought home three shirts. Now, I also brought home this sweater right here. It says puzzle on the front. It has the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships 2023 on one arm and then the New Zealand flag on the other arm. And actually on the back, it has the list of all the team names. But there were so many team names that they were divided into three. So we chose the one with our team name on it. And it has New Zealand, I think it's the second country listed. Maybe it's the Netherlands and then New Zealand. And it has our team name, world pieces, and all our names listed across. So that's all on the back. And then on top of that, I got done this uh, shirt right here. How cute is that? With New Zealand on the sleeve. I made these for myself, Valme, Wendy, and Allison to wear for the New Zealand Masters. And we're gonna try to get some jigsaw puzzle patterned material to do our hair up like in a bun, like on the, the shirt, and maybe even make some jigsaw puzzle skirts to wear. Now, if Jeanette tells you I copied her with the sweater idea, she's lying. Mine has New Zealand on it. Hers has Slovenia, completely different countries. Mine has the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships, Valladolid 2023. I don't think she did that. So they're obviously completely different sweatshirts, hoodies, if you wish. And uh, I didn't copy her, no matter what she tells you. I didn't. I came up with this design all by myself. So next year, more luggage space so I can bring home more jigsaw puzzles. I am so pleased I was able to bring all of this home. I still don't know how I managed to do it. It was just so great. I'm so honored to have some gifted to me and it was great that we could buy extra jigsaw puzzles at the competition. I would love to be able to bring them all home next year. So I'm definitely going to try to do the suitcase in a suitcase and pay for one extra luggage on the way home. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little, well, not so little, I should say. There's quite a few jigsaw puzzles in this pile. Um, I hope you enjoyed this shopping haul video. I can't wait to speed run a bunch of these with Allison on my own and as a team. I'll keep you posted on all that. And also I can't wait to just build 
these jigsaw puzzles and just have fun doing a full video, enjoying them. The Enjoy, La Munda, and the Pintu will be so much fun. And stay tuned for what we're going to do with the special anniversary jigsaw puzzle. Oh goodness, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao.